your plant motif. Oh. Nice of you to join us. Sorry I am. Lost track of time, my dear. Yeah, I'm sure. What, were you in like a forest trance or something? Joke not about the force. And joke not about meditation. Calm must my mind be when dealing with you, I am. Oh, nice. Can we just start over? <laughs> oh, that is real mature. He always does this. Communication? Huge problem for him. Skilled at communicating am I. My example should you follow when communicating you are. What? Th that's, that's not even a thing. <sighs> working, this, isn't this is working. not. Things have come to a pretty pass. Our romance is growing flat. For you like this and the other, while I go for this and that. Goodness knows what the end will be. Oh, I don't know where I'm at. It looks as if we two will never be one. Something must be done. You say either. Either, you say. You say neither. Neither, you say. Either, either, neither, neither. Thing off the whole, let's call. Yeah, see, that's not how words work. I say potato. Potato, I say. I say tomato. Tomato, I say. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Thing off the whole, let's call. Break might be. Yes, yeah, I didn't get a word of that. So if pajamas you like, and I like pajamas. Then pajamas I'll wear, and pajamas give up. Uh, no, nope. for no, me, no, we, we need each other, each other so we better call the calling off. Thing of the whole, let's call. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't all bad between us. No, no, no. No, we had some good times, right? No, very good. Oh. Oh, remember that summer we went to Burning Man? <laughs> Join the dark side, we did. <laughs> he was out of control. Me? Well, yeah, you almost got us kicked no, out. My fault it was not. Well, I wasn't the one who kept trying to plug his power converter into the Jedi holocron and chasing off all the Minox. What? Never mind. I say apprentice. Uh, say I, Padawan. I say who shot first. Oh, oh it was Han. <laughs> apprentice. Padawan. Who shot first. Han. Thing of the, the whole, whole, let's call. I say stormtroopers. Say I, clones. You say midichlorians. No, 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 stop, 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 stop that. Stop. I never said that. That is some existential bullshit that sounds like it was made up by a fucking two-year-old. Qui-Gon Jinn talked about midichlorian bullshit. Obi-Wan talked about that midichlorian bullshit, but not me. They asked me to talk about it, and I was like, no, nope, not gonna happen. Watch the movies. I never mention it, not once. <sighs> You good? Yeah. <laughs> but oh, if we call the whole thing off, then we must part. And oh, hearts might never if that then heartbreak might we. <laughs> so if you use the force, I'll use the force, do I? Then I'll try to use ah, it. Ah, there is no try. For no, we know we each other. Oh!
<laughs> I know. It's got a life of its own. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, so I'm Gwen. I'm Ben. Yeah, we're married. Yes. Um, and we're Gwenjamin. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is a piece that we created with some uh, very talented friends of ours yes. for a wacky little show that we used to do here in L.A. Uh, in the before times. Yeah, uh, we lived in New York for a very long time, and we come from Broadway and musical theater, but uh, when we moved to Los Angeles, the world of puppetry and the world of magic uh, opened themselves up to us and, and, and came into our lives in a huge and impactful way, um, which led to myself headlining at the Magic Castle and, and magic being a huge part of my life and the Jim Henson Company and all the wonderful things uh, that Marissa introduced us with, which is uh, very sweet of her to do, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so we suddenly were out here and we found ourselves kind of working alongside or adjacent to all of these world-class magicians and puppeteers and we had this realization that all of these seemingly disparate, separate things that we loved and were inspired by could actually just be one thing. Yeah, we found that compartmentalizing all the artistic things that you love uh, is counterintuitive. And so we put them all together uh, in a show that we called The Astonishing Show, show that we did in residency at Rockwell Table and Stage in the before times, before everything went to hell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and it had uh, some of truly, it's no hyperbole, some of the finest magicians uh, in the world meeting some of the finest puppeteers in the world, meeting some of the finest uh, Broadway musical theater performers in the world, all doing uh, a show that uh, had no through line. It was just <laughs> insanity. It was just yeah. insanity, and it was really beautiful and wonderful, a crazy vaudeville. Yeah. So. And uh, actually, one of our uh, core members of the group really wanted to be here tonight, but it's a little past his bedtime. So um, Marissa said that if you guys are down for it, we could uh, patch him in live via satellite. Is that something you might want to do? OK. All right, so uh, let's try and uh, make a connection here with Lucas. It's live. Don't it's definitely live. <laughs> Hello, Bourbon Roo. It's so nice to be here with you this evening completely live and in real time. <laughs> hello, Gwen. Oh, uh. And hello to you, Ben. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Lucas. Oh, yes, I think uh, his, his, the connection is just fuzzy for him. Uh, Lucas, we were just telling all our new friends uh, oh, about the show. Oh, don't say. Yeah. Yeah, could you tell us your favorite memories from the Astonishing Show show? I'm glad you asked me that, Gwen. Okay. Well, here are some of my favorite memories from the Astonishing Show show. First, I remember the time that we took Gwen out for her birthday to mm -hmm. Jumbo's Clown Room. And we were all very disappointed because there were no clowns, neither Jumbo nor regular sized. So we filed a class action lawsuit and lit a car on fire. What a fun night. Yeah, I think he meant more like memories also, from... Oh. there was the time that Ben got really angry at the audience and started okay. shouting at them things like, hey, Pay attention! I'm trying to do a show here. You think I'm here for my health? What the shit is wrong with you, you? You're a and you're a and fuck you. Glasses. And then there was the time that Ben sang that song with all the garbage. Oh yeah, that was a really nice number. Well, Ben. I think it would be a great idea for you to sing that right now. Wouldn't you love to see that audience at home? It sounds like they do, Gwen. All right, well, have fun, you two. Thanks, Ben, and thanks, Gwen. And thank you, Rockwell Table and Stage. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you, Lucas. Yeah. He just gets a little confused when he's sleepy, that's all. Um, so, our next piece, uh, as per Lucas's request, the song with all the garbage, <laughs> um, a little number that we like to call Junk. <laughs> Thank you. 
Memories. 